My name is John Scott. I'm a managing director with Project E, and we're here today showing an all-electric Canadian vehicle called A to B. This vehicle has a range of 210 kilometers and is composed of parts and technologies from Canadian companies from the East Coast to the West Coast. And just to give you an idea of the economics, if a typical family spends $100 on gas, they'll now spend about $8 in electricity to go the same distance in a pure electric vehicle. So let's talk a little bit about some of the components in the car and what's different about a pure electric vehicle from an internal combustion engine car. So obviously one of the key technologies in the vehicle are the batteries themselves. And the batteries are undergoing profound uh, advancement and a reduction in price. Uh, and there's very important technology inside the battery. To get the power out of the technology and to get that $8 that we talked about out of the batteries, a key component here is the battery management system. And that's designed by a company called Vector in Vaughan, Ontario. Another key area of technology is the electric motor, inverter, and drivetrain itself. In this particular car, it's made by TM4, which is a subsidiary of Hydro-Quebec. And this particular pack is the first pack in North America to be liquid-cooled. Another key area is the ability to communicate with the grid. The car communicates well with every part of its environment, from the grid to the data networks, to its charging, to the utility company that is being uh, supplying the electricity, uh, and it also communicates to you at home. It communicates on your iPad, it tells you its state of charge, it tells you how much distance you can go, and it's just a lot of information uh, to help the modern consumer. This car has a very advanced ability to communicate, uh, both with the driver and with the environment the driver is in. We have an onboard server, we have our own web address, uh, we have Wi-Fi and 3G. We even have the ability from our touchscreen to go right to Facebook. We have Google Maps on board. We can determine the route. We can determine the traffic on board. It's a very advanced set of capabilities that these Canadian companies have.